Uh, hello everyone, uh, thanks for having me here to talk tonight. Um, I've got a couple of small confessions to make. Firstly, I think I might have misjudged the dress code. <laughs> what I'm wearing. Um, secondly, food sustainability is not actually my speciality. Um, by day, I'm actually a mechanical engineering student. So, um, I'm also not a natural speaker. So, if you find that I uh, stutter throughout uh, what I've got to say tonight, it's either because I'm nervous or it's because I genuinely have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, uh, yep, uh, my name is Jack Trithuey. Um I am a member of something called the Sheffield Engineering Leadership Academy, or uh, CELA, and my presentation is on CELA and Regather, Improving Sheffield's Food System. So, the scope of uh, what I'm going to be talking to you about tonight is firstly, what is CELA? Um, Gareth has already touched quite effectively on uh, what Regather is, so I won't spend too much time on that. Um, I'll also tell you about the challenge that we've been uh, given tonight as well. Well, not tonight, for the whole year. And also our ideas in actually um, finding a solution to this challenge which works for everybody. Which works not only for us, but also for the whole community of Sheffield. So, what is cellar? Well, every single time that I've tried to define cellar, I've always missed something, I've always got my definition slightly wrong, and I've always got muddled for words. So if you don't mind, I'm actually going to read from a small script. The Sheffield Engineering Leadership Academy develops engineering undergraduate students to become the leaders of tomorrow, who create positive impact in research and industry. We recruit talent from the University of Sheffield's Faculty of Engineering, work with industry partners and academics, and fast-track the development of engineering leaders with the skills, confidence and attitude to make a positive difference. A lot of words. So um, basically, it's giving engineers the skills that they need to become the leaders of tomorrow. And um, there are several ways which it does this. Firstly, uh, there are a lot of projects that um, seller students will be working, out, working on throughout the year. Um, we also um, have the challenge of trying to apply two summer placements throughout our time at uh, Seller. So um, these pictures are slightly blurry, but if you look at the top right, um, what we've got is a challenge called the 88 Pianist Scheme. And it was something which uh, many members in Cellar worked on to try and break the world record for the largest number of people playing the piano at the same time. Uh, it was probably the most complex thing I've ever done in my life and probably the most stressful because uh, we worked with primary school children and their ideas sometimes defy the laws of physics. <laughs> trying to uh, incorporate that into something which can work a piano is obviously quite a stressful task. Um, you might or may or may not have heard of the Get Up to Speed with STEM. Um, it's basically an outreach uh, program to engage with uh, thousands of engineering, um, well, high school and primary school students all over the north of England to um, show them basically all the potential that engineering and that a career in engineering has to offer. <coughs> so um, from my experience, Cellar has been a really, really good opportunity. And I'll show you later how this actually relates to the problem that we've been faced with. Oops. So what is Regather? Um, I think Gareth has already uh, given a really good explanation of it. So it's, uh, from what I can tell, from our interpretation of Regather, it's uh, basically a cooperative that's designed to improve the sustainability of Sheffield's food system. Um, so the focus of Seller has been working together with Regather to try and use data to improve their, uh, to improve their food box, which provides a, a local source of organic fresh produce to uh, customers all over Sheffield. Uh, there is a picture of a very good looking food box, which uh, I had the pleasure of ordering. Uh, we're going, we plan on, um, the seller cohort ordered a food box and we plan on cooking a meal together, which uh, should be fun. So the challenge that we've been given uh, is based on... Hmm? It's just data is the new oil. Data is, oh, data is the new oil, yeah. This is the uh, phrase which you've probably all heard, um, and that was basically the overlining uh, outline of our challenge. So um, every day, billions of people all over the globe are generating data. You're probably generating data now without even knowing it. And uh, just a couple of facts for you, just to give you a kind of perspective as to what um, the extent of the data that we're creating. <coughs> 500 websites every day are being made. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't even name 500 websites. I, I can't even name 50. Um, also, in the health sector alone, in the US health sector, if uh, data mining was actually used effectively, you could probably save up to $300 billion a day. And there was one other fact, and you know what? It's completely escaped me. <laughs> And it's not on there either. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, um, this is actually the best fact in my opinion, which is probably why I forgot it. Um, in the past two years alone, more data has been created than in the entire history of the human race. And um, I'm just going to draw you to a screenshot of my phone, 
which was actually taken on the uh, 20th of February 2020. And uh, from this, we can actually establish a couple of things. Firstly, I didn't do many steps on that day. <laughs> Secondly, I did about half the amount of exercise I should have done. I burned just over a thousand calories. I walked just under three kilometers. And unfortunately, that image is hiding it, but I got about 10 hours sleep, so we all know that I had a fat lion on that day. <laughs> now, the interesting thing about this is that all of this data was being collected without me even really knowing it. I mean, I knew that something was going on in the background. And it was probably because of some I agree to the terms and conditions box that I ticked about five years ago and didn't really think of again. But if data is being collected so cleverly that I don't even know about it, that I'm not even aware of what's going on, but it can happen in my sleep, but surely there must be a way for Regather and Sheffield to tap into this vast quantity of data that's available to improve the sustainability of our local food system. So that is our challenge, and we have decided to um, work on Regather's food box as a way of uh, trying to improve the sustainability of our food system using data. So what exactly are we going to do? <coughs> um, so what we've decided to establish is a sort of multi-phase uh, system. So firstly, we know we have the uh, Regather food box that we know and love. But the problem is, is that we don't really know as much as we'd like to know about the food which is inside that box. For example, where does the food come from? Who are the farmers that grew the food? How many miles has the food travelled? And what, if any, pesticides were used in growing that food? Now we believe that if customers are actually aware of, all, of the answers to all of these questions, then they'll actually have more faith in Regather, they'll have more trust in the process, and it'll also help to improve Regather's transparency. So the first thing that we're going to make is an NFC-enabled widget which will be attached to every box which will give a whole load of information about the food which they're buying. Um, what else have we got? Oh yes, we're also going to be making a, um, a locker, a refrigerated locker, um, which the Regather food boxes will be put into. And the idea is that uh, the, instead of having to go out on lengthy deliveries, which obviously um, in a van uh, produce um, lots of harmful gases and are not very good for the environment, is that people will be able to come and collect their boxes from these lockers at their convenience. Um, these lockers, we're planning on making them um, sort of having about eight lockers per hub and having these hubs sort of distributed over Sheffield. Um, so the idea is, is that somebody can get a notification that their uh, regather box is ready for collection. They can uh, go scan the barcode, collect their regather box, scan the widget and find out all the information that they could possibly need about the food that they're collecting. Uh, we also want to try and integrate this all into a smartphone app. Because ideally, if you can have everything that you wanted on your screen, and even access to regather's websites so that you can read up about their blogs and their current <coughs> activities. That would just be something which is, well, I think really cool. <coughs> so, what is our plan? Firstly, we're gonna be designing a prototype, lo a prototype locker system. Um, we're also gonna be de designing a specification for a smartphone app. I mean, bearing in mind, uh, a lot of us are engineers and we have, you know, 60, 70 hour plus uh, week courses. So, creating a smartphone app might actually be a bit of a challenge, but if we can design a specification for it, mm -hmm and then outsource that to a third-party contractor, then that would be ideal, because then if you can actually outsource this whole system to a third-party contractor, that makes it available to small businesses all over the country, which means that you could actually not just make a difference in Sheffield and improve uh, Sheffield's uh, food system, but you could actually improve the uh, food system across the country. And obviously these are big ideas, and this might not happen for a couple of years' time, but it's still something to uh, consider. Okay. Um, so this is just a brief sketch as to what the uh, refrigerated box would look like. Um, so what we've got is, um, I, we don't know exactly what the widget is going to look like yet, so we've used a very decorative block with the catchy name of A1. Um, we've also got a, um, it's sort of a fridge, an insulated fridge uh, system, and we also have a CAD model, and uh, this is what we plan on um, actually uh, building over the next coming weeks to present in, um, to, for our seller certificate in May, and also uh, we plan on presenting a version of this in July. And that should be my last slide. So yeah, thank you for listening.